Closing market comments for Friday, January the 29th. Grains started lower last night, rally going into the morning break. During the break this morning, we had another sale to China. This one was 2.108 million metric tons, and they sold for 2021, and they sold 132,000 metric tons of soybeans to China for 21-22 marketing year. This corn sale is the second largest single purchase of corn in U.S. history, second only to the Russian corn purchase in 1991, so huge purchase for the Chinese. China purchased 203 million bushels of corn this week from the U.S., just this week. And that does not include some of the un unknown sales that we made, so those could be additional sales to China that we're not sure of. Uh, markets rallied after the break, but failed to break the old highs, which was a little surprising with that kind of volume that we sold. And they started to back off. As they started to back off, corn and, and beans and wheat, all three were going lower, and before it was done, they were all trading lower on the day. As the day progressed, only buyers came back in. That seems to be the case, and things rallied to close corn up 12 cents, soybeans up 16 cents, and wheat up 16 cents on the day. Traders were talking this afternoon about China coming in to buy U.S. wheat, but nothing has been confirmed at this time. The latches purchase of wheat they made was made from Australia. We have the best corn and soybean prices since the summer of 2014 right now. Baggy, the uh, Buenos Aires Grain Exchange, lowered their soybean production for Argentina to 46.0 million metric tons, down 0.5. The weather is still showing rain falling in South America for the coming weeks. There is talk of a truck driver strike in Brazil, and the dollar uh, is uh, was down today uh, early, but rallied back to close up 88 points at 90.515. Remember, we have resistance on the dollar at 91. If we break that, that would be a, probably a negative because the dollar would continue to rally. On the day, gold was up 840 at 1846.30. Silver up one dollar and 12.6 cents to close at 27.035. Crude oil had a slow trading day down 12 cents at 52.22. Stocks started the day a little better, but sold off sharply with Dow futures down 640, NASDAQ down 295, and S&P down 77. Could be an interesting trade on Sunday night. We'll have to see what comes out for news over the weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend.